What's up everybody and welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Today we're talking a little bit about touch-up training, okay? This is a new phenomena, or it's a new labeled phenomena, and it's coming around a lot more, I'm seeing it more and more. The other day I was in the gym, and I had this individual say, well, you know, I'm gonna, I did chest and tries, and I only didn't finish tries, so um, I'm gonna train two clients and then finish them off later on. And I, he walked away and I was like, what do you finish, what? Finish them off? It doesn't work that way. And to understand why it doesn't work that way, you need to understand how recovery works and how the body recovers and how the body works. And when I hear stuff like this, it boggles my mind because I'm like, you're going to go train clients. You don't even understand how the muscle in your body after you stimulate it works. You should have that basic concept down before you train anybody or start working as a personal trainer. So without further ado, here's why touch-up training doesn't make any sense. And by the way, this they didn't do touch-up training back in the day because... People like Mike Menser was putting out information that made it very clear as to why it wouldn't work. And, well, let's, let's back up. Let's go into the recovery thing first, okay? So, you go train a body part. So, let's say it's triceps. As soon as you're done, your body's main job, the second that you're done with that training, is to recover, okay? It wants to recover. It wants to go back to homeostasis to make sure that you're not losing muscle, gaining fat, losing fat. It doesn't want to do anything except go back to normal and recover. Now, after you've given it the stimulation to increase the muscle mass, it now then needs to adapt to get bigger and stronger for the next training stimulus. Okay, and that takes place after recovery. After the recovery takes place, the supercompensation takes place to where your body actually has a signal that says, this is going to happen again tomorrow. And what I want to do is make it easier tomorrow. And this is your brain talking to the rest of your body. I want to make it easier when we do this the next time. So let's get bigger and stronger. And next time this guy decides he wants to go lift these damn weights, we'll show him who's boss. And the body adapts. It gets bigger and it gets stronger. Now, let me ask you a question. What happens if your body doesn't recover? You don't gain muscle. What happens if your body doesn't recover? You don't progress. So you don't gain muscle, you don't progress. The two things that you're in the gym trying to do you don't do. Because why? Oh, you didn't recover. So now, how do you recover? You stay out of the gym, which means if you hit that set of triceps that didn't finish, you're actually better off not coming back to touch them up and not doing anything and letting the body recover. Now, you may or may not build muscle based on what the stimulus was, but the bottom line is you will still recover if you stay out of the gym. But if you go back into the gym, the body's energy reserves, everything that's going back, that's trying to recover, you're setting up again to try to stimulate the muscle again that you've already stimulated and has tried to recover so you're not breaking the muscle down again and it's not recovering. So now you're basically overtraining because you're not allowing the body to recover. I think it was Menser or I forget who it was, it, they kind of had this antidote that was, it's like a stick of dynamite. Your muscle is like a stick of dynamite and stimulating the muscle is like taking a pencil and tapping the stick of dynamite. That's like doing this touch-up training stuff. You tap and tap and tap and tap and tap. You never really fully stimulate the, mu the muscle to get the big bang. You take a hammer, boom, whack it once, bang, it, it explodes. Well, if you're doing this tap, 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 tap thing all the time, do a little bit here, a little bit touch-up there, the body never recovers. So now, the idea is to get in the gym, break the muscle tissue down, back off, let it recover, and whatever you didn't do, you didn't do. I mean, you're not going to be able to make it up later. It's not a test. It's not a, a, a makeup test in school. Where you're like, oh, I missed the test, so I'll do it on Tuesday. It doesn't work like that. And it's very similar with cardio, too. People are always like, well, you know, I do my cardio after my weight workout, which is better than doing it before your weight workout because of the fact that you are much more, you are in a better position to burn fat after your workout than before your workout, and then it doesn't make you tired for your workout. See how the recovery thing takes place? But if you ever watch Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler, and myself included, a cardio session in the morning, training session in the afternoon, cardio session at night. Why? Why do we separate that, that weight training in the afternoon and the cardio at night? Because as soon as the weight training is done, why would I want to shift now to energy production to an anaerobic state when my body's trying to recover with the muscle I just stimulated? Doesn't it make much more sense to let the muscle recover that you just stimulated in the gym and come back later on to break those energy reserves down again to go into an aerobic state to break down body fat while you let the muscle recover? That's why it's so important to recover because you're going to maintain your muscle mass while you're dieting, okay? Or if you're, well, you shouldn't be doing that much cardio if you're not dieting. But the bottom line is it all bases around recovery and this touch-up training and 
and, and these other things like these uh, multiple sets or whatever throughout the day. All right, the camera shut off because I ran out of <laughs> room on the camera. But I was done anyway, so we're just going to do the outro. Biostraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biostraining.com is the blog, and we're the non-touch-up training bicep, and we're out.